so happy today to have healthy lifestyle expert and political junkie herself, Shemaine Nugent, joining us to talk about how we can all try to stay healthier during this very stressful time in our lives, mentally and physically. Shemaine, welcome on. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, you know, I've been getting inundated with messages from people who said that they are struggling with mind, body, and spirit health. And you know, if you're not healthy from the inside out, it's not just that you look good in a, in a bikini or Speedo, whichever one floats your boat. It's that you have to be, have a positive mental attitude and have that spiritual connection with God to really stay buoyant and healthy. Okay. I, we're doing this Zoom segment from my apartment here in DC. And as you can see behind me, there's not a whole lot on the counter. I do have a few things in the fridge and I'll bring them out and have you give me a shemaine head uh, thumbs up or a shemaine thumbs down. We'll do that in just a second. But right now, you hear back from a lot of your followers on social media. What's the number one thing that people are dealing with right now? Is it weight loss? Is it lack of motivation to exercise? What exactly is that right now? Well, it's all of those things, but motivation is the number one key. I mean, you and I were talking earlier, and it's easy to, once you get sitting down on that couch, it's hard to get back up. The most important thing is you find the thing that makes that makes your heart sing and do it every day. As long as you can, as long as there's no lockdowns or mandates against it, go outside, get some fresh air, get some of that good vitamin D, exercise, walk, move, do something, anything every single day. Okay, let's talk about mental clarity. And you know, you can get caught up in watching the news and obviously whatever side of politically you fall on, it could be stressful on both sides, right? How do you stay focused and have some calmness in your life? Well, I have had to turn off the television. Number one, I don't watch mainstream media for sure. I pick and choose, I'm very selective. And if I get triggered by something, that's an indication that I'm, I'm watching too much. Even if it's you know half an hour or an hour, of course, watch your show, Brian. But I really feel like you know we're getting triggered to the point where you know this pandemic is instilling fear in all of us, and that's not healthy. It increases your blood pressure and it lowers your ability to fight off infection. So the number one most important thing that we need to do right now is to decrease those triggers and to really fill your body, your body, mind, and spirit with positive things. And rather than telling yourself, oh, whether, whether it's, you know, you're arguing with the TV or you need to lose weight or whatever it is, swap those negative phrases with something positive. Like I'm doing the best that I can right now, or I'm, I'm going to watch something. I've been watching this show on, uh, I, I can't remember what, what network it is, like a uh, prime, it's called Heartland. And it's basically, you know, about a little girl who's a horse whisperer. It's totally PG, but it takes me away from what's going on right now in the world. You have to have a mantra. You have to have some ritual like taking a bath with lavender and Epsom salt and, and something that will just soothe your soul. Yeah, I agree. Good stuff there. And of course, prayer, as we've always mentioned before, when you and I get together, that's huge as well. Absolutely. Uh, morning, noon and night, whenever you can. It's really important. In fact, that's a that's a good thing that uh, to remind people is during those those normal routines that you do have, like brushing your teeth, pray for somebody. During that time, it might sound silly, but try it and, and just express gratitude. I am so grateful that I have this apartment. I am so grateful that I'm here right now and I have my health. Watch how everything will change. Yeah, gratitude's a big part of that. Okay, let's play a game. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm going to pull something out of the refrigerator here and you give me the Shemaine Nugent take on it. All right, let's start with um, organic. Okay pink lemonade here low sugar it says good thumbs up thumbs down okay so uh, tell me how many tell me how many grams of sugar are in that um, look at it survey says you put your glasses on <laughs> yeah 28 grams of uh, sugar 
Mm -mm. No, even natural sugar. I'm I'm trying to eliminate that. Healthy aid kombucha. Okay, again, check out the sugar content. Sugar content, Brian. It has, yeah, we want to put this down. It has 40 grams. <laughs> okay. Last but not You'd be least. surprised. Even if it says, even if it says organic, even if you think it's healthy, check out the sugar content. Can I leave you with this? One of those little cuties okay. that we have, right? Okay. There's a lot of natural sugar in that, but I'm going to let it slide for you. <laughs> all right. Well, we appreciate it. Hey, if someone wants more information on all things Shemaine Nugent, where do we go? You can go to my website, ShemaineNugent.rocks, R-O-C-K-S. And I'm all over social media. I'm on Instagram, the blue check on Facebook, Twitter, and also Parlor. And Shemaine, you do rock. Well, thank you. You do too. We try. Thank you so much. I appreciate it today. And we look forward to checking in with you here as things develop here in D.C. Talk to you soon, Brian. You got it. Shemaine Nugent joining us. Thank you so much.